Brian in California writes to me. He said, hey Paul, I'm in a 14 by 10.5 foot room. That's pretty small. But hey, we do what we can. Uh, I am listening on the long side and using the one-third rule you have mentioned. Now with that rule, I'm at about four feet eight inches away from my bookshelf speakers. What would be the ideal distance and what is it in your listening room? All right, well I've got quite a bit bigger listening room than you do. And the, so let's, you know, I talk a lot about the rule of thirds. I think the, the as I just finished writing, if you haven't had a chance, the audiophile's guide, the loudspeaker. So you can, you can jump on Amazon, you can jump into our website, psaudio.com, pick yourself up a copy. I go through this in great detail and I'm pretty proud of this book. It took me quite a while to write it. But it's an extensive book about how to set up your loudspeakers. And I gotta tell you, loudspeaker setup is probably the most important thing that you are ever gonna do to get great sound. Everything else pales. So the most important thing, get a good pair of speakers. Get a great pair of speakers. Because if we can't start with a great pair of speakers, then it's, it makes it tough. So get the best pair of speakers you can get. Number two, set up. Because even the best speakers in the world improperly set up sound like dog do. It, I mean, it's just, oh God, hundreds and hundreds of setups that I've done. The single biggest factor is setup, setup, setup. And I've said it before, I can take a medium sounding pair of speakers and make them sound pretty dang good through setup. I can take a great pair of speakers through setup and make magic happen, and so can you. But even the best speakers in the world set up improperly, they don't sound good. So my book, The Audiophile's Guide, The Loudspeaker, really covers that in depth. So let's, let's go, and it, it's step by step, and you, you, know, and it has, uh, you have to get the CD with it, or the SA CD. I just get the CD if you want. It, it's, we sell that here at PS Audio and the book, so whatever. But the, the book walks you through step by step. Put this track on, do this, get that result. If you don't, here's what you do. All right, and that's, I just, I know shameless self-promotion, but honestly, this setup is so important, so important, and most people get it wrong. So they do okay. Now, mostly what we try and do is set up what's called an equilateral triangle. And that triangle you can see here is, th there's one apex point of the triangle, here's another one, and then it goes off to the listening point, which is the third apex of the triangle. So these speakers are about seven feet apart. So if we just pace it off, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a little bit more than seven feet. And then from here, from the front, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's approximately where your head is gonna be. Now mine's farther back, and we explain how that's your starting point. Then we walk you through how to get to the, the next steps. But using the equilateral triangle method and then a little bit of toe in, Again, you need to have the right tracks to play and know what to do about it, but that's essentially it. So I'm not gonna do the math for you on that because I am terrible at math. <laughs> my father used to be so frustrated with me because I just couldn't wrap my head around math. I, I couldn't wrap my head around naming the, the months in order. When I was a freshman in high school, my dad got so pissed at me because I, I literally couldn't say January, February, March, April. I didn't have, I don't know. And I don't know, one month came after another. And he made me go upstairs. And I don't even think I could leave the house until I fully memorized and proved to him that I could say the months in order. <laughs> Just not part of my skill set. So, all right. I don't know if that answered your question, but that's my rant and I'm sticking to it. Okay, talk to you tomorrow.